Hey guys, we are back with some more Wolfsburg Wolves franchise mode. And in this one, we have free agency. And we're not going to make too many big signings, honestly. There are names like Matt Barzell, Dylan Strom, Brack Besser, Ehlers, Marner. However, I feel like signing one of these guys would only take away ice time from our young guys. We have Mayer coming up, who is an 86 overall at, at the moment. He might jump over the offseason as well. You have Aho and Homer, who are first liners pretty much at this point. And you also have Aaron Zanetti, who is up and coming at an 81 overall. He might be like an 83 ne next year. And, you know, yeah, got guys like Point, Miller, Malkin, who are all proven veterans on this team who, you know, would make great top six forwards. I just don't feel like breaking up the chemistry that this team has from last year. And they proved they could get it done last year, so why not try it again, right? And as far as defense goes, I mean, Jones and Kuleshov basically carry this defensive core. And that's all right with me because they do a fantastic job of doing it. And obviously, you got young guys like Jamnov, Vertanen, Kundratek, Staples, Barney. One of those guys are probably getting traded, to be honest. More than likely Kundratek. But one of these guys are probably getting traded just because I have, there I can't fit all these guys in the roster. You know, I mean, you have what is that? One, two, three, four, five guys, <laughs> five NHL ready defensemen who are twenty one years of age or younger. I mean, geez. So uh, one of them is probably getting traded. Dahan is useful, and you know, obviously Jones and Kulishov aren't going anywhere. So. There's really not much to do other than get a couple of backup goaltenders. I'm going to re-sign Schneider because he deserves it. And we're going to go after someone else as well. But really, we don't have to go... We don't have to worry about any defenseman in free agency. But as far as forwards go, I would like to get a physical fourth-line center. And I pointed him out in the last one. And that fourth-line center would be Rupe Hintz. Or Rupi Hintz, however it's pronounced. And what I like about Hintz is that he does a little bit of everything. Because if we take a look here, he's an 83 overall. It says he should belong on the third line. 51 points, and that's justified to be a third line for. He could be, he could even pass as a second liner. But he does a little bit of everything. He get, he's good at faceoffs. He hits. He's got a good ratio. He blocks shots, even 33 blocks last year. So you could put him on the penalty kill. You could put him on the power play. There's so much you could do with Ruby Hens. And that's where I feel like he would really, really help this team. Especially in the playoffs. And I also want to get a 13th forward who uh, fits the mold of our team very well. Again, we're not making any signings that would just mess with the chemistry of the t team entirely. But Hintz definitely will not do that. I guarantee you. So, we'll give him a three-year deal. That's what he wants. Florida and Boston are also interested in him. And we will give him, I'd say, 4.1 4. is probably enough. But we'll go 4.2 just to make sure. Offer contract. There you go. And it's not like we have a shortage of cap space anyway. I mean, we have 28.4 million. And we're going into, what, year number seven now? So, I mean, the only... The only big contract that we even have coming up is Yorgaho. And he's not going to want that much more than he's already making. Because he's already making almost 7 mil. I can't see Aho wanting more than 10 mil at most. So, we have a lot to work with. We really do. And the other forward that I want to go after as a back forward is Brock Nelson. 80 overall. 32 years of age, he's a veteran, proven scorer, 43 points in year number 5, I believe that is, and he hits, got a good ratio, really no complaints, gonna go after Brock Nelson as well, one year for 2.5 should be good for him, so that'll be it for forwards, now goaltenders, we are going to go after... Mr. Corey Schneider, as he was fantastic last year, as usual. Now, 
he is down to a 79 overall, so he is going to be our 2A. He's 2A. So 2B will be Mackenzie Blackwood. So that we have three reliable goaltenders on us at all times. Because you really can't go wrong with having too many goaltenders. So we'll give Schneider two mil, one year, one way. And Blackwood, we will give one year at 2.25. There you go. So Blackwood and Schneider are roughly 4.2 combined. And then for forwards, you have Rupence, who is 4.2 himself. So that's 8.4. And then Brock Nelson, who was 2.5. So that's roughly 10 mil eaten up in the cap. However, we still have 18 mil left over. So I, I, I guess we'll sign a veteran defenseman. Because I, we still have, you know, we have to fill in somewhere. So I guess we'll get Ian Cole here. We'll give him a one-year deal at, I guess, five mil. Can't hurt to have another veteran defenseman back there, just in case. And, you know, obviously, we're only overpaying Cole because we have to. <laughs> just in order to get below the salary floor. Or above the salary floor, rather. So... Yeah, there you go. Cole. I, I wouldn't imagine he doesn't sign with us. So, there you go. That's all we're doing in free agency. But before we advance, <laughs> I realized that we did not check the awards. So, we're going to do that right now. So, obviously, the Stanley Cup goes to the New York Islanders. President's Trophy, Tampa Bay Lightning. Art Ross goes to Jack Hughes for a second year in a row. Hart goes to Jack Hughes for a second year in a row. And the James Norris goes to Garjulo of the Buffalo Sabres. Bing goes to S. Bird of the Minnesota Wild. Calder goes to Taro Alto of the Chicago Blackhawks. Con Smythe goes to Aaron Dell. Jeez. Yeah, he must have played uh, out of his mind as an 81 overall goaltender. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a boost in the offseason. Vesna, Yuko Pekka, Lukanen. Uh, Jennings, Lukanen as well. Masterton, Kapitanov of the Montreal Canadiens. Selkie, McDavid. Lindsay, Jack Hughes for a second year in a row. And Maurice Fischard, Jack Hughes for a third year in a row. Jeez. Jack Hughes, man. So, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, we will actually first, before we see who signs, we're going to... Take a look at our scouts, see what we need. So we have Russia, Liga, SHL. So we should be good for, what's it called? Uh, Scandinavia. Then Extra Liga, NLA, Dell. Uh, US East, US Central, US West. Got the US covered. We could use a Q scout. And we could use two AHL scouts. Did we, actually, did we already do the scouts in the last one? I think we might have... Yeah, we did. We already did. Okay. Good. So, with that, uh, let us see who we get from the scouts and from uh, the player free agency. So, we'll advance a few days, and we'll see what happens. So, yeah, we'll just uh, advance up to here and see who signs. Larry Guerrero, scout. Paul Richards, scout. Ryan Anderson, scout. Uh, Dwayne Rollison, the scout. And Ian Cole accepts, I would imagine. Rupi Hintz accepts. Corey Schneider is back. Brock Nelson is on the team. Mackenzie Blackwood is also on the team. And we have a trade. Rodine and a second for Zucker. A third and a fourth. Nope. And that should be it. Should be just about it. So let's go over our roster one more time just to make sure we're not missing anything. But, we should be all good to go. So, goaltenders, yep, Demko, Blackwood, Schneider, Rodin, we are good. Defenseman, Jones, Kulishov, Jamnov, Cole is going to be a backup defenseman for right now. DeHaan, Vertan, and Staples, and then in the system you got Kundratek and, Ver <laughs> and, uh, and Barney. 
So really no reason to worry on defense. And then forwards, Aho, Homer, Malkin, Point, and Mayer, Miller, Hintz, Furland, Pearson, Robertson, Zanetti, Nelson, Stahlberg, and then in the system, Kirk. Oh, right, Williams. Yeah, we got to trade. <laughs> we have to trade Williams. There's no doubt about it. He's just not turning into what we expected. So we're going to flip him for really whatever at this point. <laughs> I mean, he does have quite a bit of value on him. You could probably technically get a late first for him, but I'm not going to do that. That's cheese in the game because he's already 23. He's pretty much a bust at this. Well, not pretty much. He is a bust. I mean, he spent three years in the AHL. He's stagnated his, his point totals. I mean, 42, 42, 43. He's not growing. He's 23. He's 77. It's not happening for him. He, he was a second round pick himself. So we're going to see if we can get a second round pick back for him. I mean, that's the most he could hope for. So, yeah. Honestly, Williams for Arizona's second might have to be it. I know there's more value in their favor with Williams as it stands right now, but I guarantee you that at the start of the season or even halfway through the season or, or even at some point in the offseason, Williams' value is going to drop big time just because of his age and a, a combination of everything, really. Uh, it, it By the end of the year, I promise you, that second-round pick is going to be worth more than Josh Williams. So proposed trade, trade accepted. <laughs> I mean, obviously for them, it's a no-brainer because it's a computer, but the first round pick was going to be completely unrealistic, but I figured we'd at least get a second round pick back for someone who was a second round pick. So so there you go. Josh Williams is out of the way. We got a second round pick back for him. And again, that second round pick is going to be worth more than Josh Williams at season's end. So that should be just about it, honestly. Yeah. So let's advance to the start of year number seven. All right, so we are at the start of the preseason for year number seven. Let's check out the growth. So we'll start out with goaltenders. Demko, 92. Blackwood, 80. Schneider, 76. Okay, so that's why, that is why I signed Blackwood as well. I had a feeling that might happen. Yeah, Schneider <laughs> on his way down there. That's unfortunate. So it looks like Blackwood is going to be the backup for this year. And as far as defensemen, Jones 89, Kulishov 89, Jamnov 83, Dehan 81, Cole 81, Vertanen 80, Staples 79. So Vertanen and Staples didn't grow in terms of overall. That's a bit concerning. However, it is worth noting that the both of them didn't get too much ice time, especially Carl Staples. He only got 1331 of ice time, so maybe a little bit more will help him out there. And then in the system, you have Kondratek 81, Barney 80. So we have, uh, what is that? That's nine NHL defensemen right there. And then forwards, Aho is a 90 overall, Homer 88, Mayer 86, Gino still an 86, that's good. Point 85, Miller 84, Hintz 83. Zanetti is an 82, so he's an official third liner, I would say now, at this point. Robertson, 81. Furland, 81. Stahlberg, 81. Pearson, 81. Nelson, 80. And let's see the minors. Kirk, Grief, Dudas, Sodergrant. Okay, so we're going to have to fill out the AHL with rookies a little bit. And we'll do that right now in contracts. So as we go to unsigned, forwards. You have Carlson and Albrecht, who we need to sign for sure. So we will get them on the AHL squad. I'm not sure about Goligoski. It's 57. I guess if it comes down to it, we'll sign him, but not going to sign him now. Bohinski and Castles, I would say we sign. Because they can just hop right in there to the AHL. Umala, I might sign as well, depending. Although we do have a lot of defensive depth at the moment, so... I'm not sure I want to put them in there right now. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait for Lumala. Yeah, I'll definitely wait for Lumala. We have a lot of defensive depth, especially with Kondratik and Barney down here. I mean, geez, I, I'm not even sure if I want to start the season 
with them down there, you know? All right, so here we go. We have the lines figured out. First line is going to be Mayer, Ajo, and Homer. Second line, Miller, Malkin, and Point. Third line, Robertson, Pearson, and Zanetti. Fourth line, Furland, Hintz, and Stahlberg. Defensively, you have Kuleshov and Jones, Dehan and Jamnov, Staples and Vertanen, same pairs as last year. Power play, Mayer, Aho, and Homer with Kuleshov and Jamnov. And then the second line power play, Gino, Hintz, and Point, and then Miller with Jones. Four man power play, Aho, Homer, Kuleshov, and Jones. Point, Malkin, Dehan, and Jamnov. Penalty kill, Hintz, Miller, Kuleshov, Jones. Pearson, Furland, Staples, and Vertanen. So we're giving Staples a little bit more defensive responsibility than he had last year. He was not on the penalty kill at all last year. He wasn't even on. Uh, uh, he wasn't on a whole lot of extra lines. He was just on the five on five and then the four on four third line. So we're giving him a little bit more responsibility this year. See if he can step up. Uh, and then Aho and Homer, Kuleshov and Jones, Malkin, Mayer. Dehan and Jamnov, and then Point, Miller, Staples, and Vertanen on the four on four. Three on three, Aho, Homer, and Kuleshov. Malkin, Mayer, Jones, Point, Miller, and Jamnov. Extra attackers, Aho, Point. Shootout, Mayer, Homer, Malkin, Aho, and Kuleshov. And then Demko and Blackwood in net. Cole and Nelson are scratched. And now for the AHL. So we are going to have to fill out the AHL a little bit. Here you got Kirk, you got Carlson, and Albrecht, but really not much after that. Jo uh, Jeffrey Thornton has a 71 overall defenseman playing forward, so we're going to have to fill out forwards a little bit. But def defense is where this team is OP. Barney and Kundratek, 80 and 81. They're not staying down here all year, make no mistake. <laughs> They're only staying down here until we find out what their role is. Once we know what their exact NHL role is, and I guarantee you they're both NHL defensemen at this point. As per their overall, it's just a matter of what role they fill. They will be up, I would say, by November 1st. Because, <laughs> I mean, they just don't belong in the AHL. They really don't. Someone's getting traded. That is for, sure, for certain. And I don't know if it's going to be Cole... Just because he fills out that $5 million in cap space that we need him to. So it might be DeHaan. It might be Staples. <laughs> it might be one of these guys and Barney or Kondratek or both of them even. So we're just going to keep them down there till we know what they are for certain. And that's really about it. And then of course you got Rodine and Schneider playing down here in the AHL. Scratched our Sandstrom, Dersh Benzing. Yeah, no one who I really want to play. So we're definitely going to have to go out and sign some forwards. But other than that, there you go. All right, so I went out to free agency. Got a couple of forwards here. Mikhail Carlson, so that we have two Carlsons on the team. Johan Carlson, Mikhail Carlson. We also have two Castles on the team. Cole Castles and Edgar Castles. So got two sets of brothers. and They're probably not uh, brothers, especially... Edgar and Cole, given that uh, Cole is real and Edgar probably isn't, <laughs> I would have to say, given that he was driving in 2023. So we'll just say they're hypothetical brothers because they have the same last name. But yeah, also got Goligoski signed since there were, you know, there weren't too many other better options. And I didn't want to stack the AHL so that our prospects can grow. Now, <laughs> the thing is, is that, you know, you have Salda and Addison on the second pair at the moment with Barney and Kundratek being down here. So they definitely cannot stay down here the entire year. A month at most. And then you got Edgar Castles and Tim Bohinski down here as well. And then Rodin and Schneider. So you, that, you guys have seen the rosters. Let me know what we should do going into this season. For me, I'm looking for a big season out of Tom Mayer. The first line left winger now. 86 overall. His career high... Is 42 points. And when he's playing on a line with Jorg Ajo and Maddox Homer, he should be getting quite a few points there. So uh, I'm going to really be keeping an eye on top mayor, see how he does. And then also we're going to keep an eye on the development of Carl Staples because he didn't grow at all over the offseason based on his overall right now. 
So really got to keep an eye on him. Same thing with basically all these young guys. And with Barney and Kundratek, it's really up in the air right now as to who's going to be on this roster long term because there's so many young defensemen that we, we really can't determine too much between them right now. And then there's Dehan, of course. But, you know, still there's there's five young defensemen down here. Kundratek, Barney, and then Staples, Rattan, and Jamnov. And Kuleshov and Jones are going nowhere. So at least one of these guys is getting traded sometime this season. I, It's almost guaranteed, as a matter of fact. So, And especially with Cole and Dehan being there, it's just... <laughs> There's just too many defensemen on this team. New Jersey numbers, Rup Hintz, 24. And let's see, who else? Who else? Brock Nelson, 31. Cole, 28. And Blackwood, 29. So there you go. There is your roster for the start of year number seven. And uh, let's go... I would say we'll go a month in this video. Not too much longer than that, though. I'm so congested. <laughs> There's uh, no way I'm going too long today. So we're just going to make sure that before we start the simulation, that all of our scouts are sent out to different regions. Don't need uh, any repetitive guys here. So yeah, we have two guys in the OHL. I know Guerrero can probably scout the Q. Yeah. Ivan, he can too. I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> we'll just send Guerrero out to the Q. And we have to go after someone else again, just for the sake of filling up cap. So we'll go, we'll give Abdelkader 5 mil. And again, I, I probably should have given that money to someone like Schneider, who at least, you know, kind of deserves it for <laughs> everything that he did for us. But I, I, I didn't know that we would still have like 17 mil left in cap space at this point. I thought... You know, signing all those guys would take us to at least 15 mil. But no, we're still at 17 and a half mil. So, <laughs> had to give Abdelkader that. And I wouldn't imagine why he doesn't accept. So, we're going to go past preseason. Alright, so we were perfect in the preseason. 7-0. 4-3 shootout win. 5-4 shootout win. Overtime win against Dallas. 2-1 win. 2-1 win. 7-3 win. 4-2 win. So, uh, it looked pretty good there in the preseason. Obviously, it's just a preseason, but, you know, just getting warmed up, getting the rust out of the way, and let's go for the rest of October. So, that'll take us to, I believe, game number, right after game number nine of the season. So, that should be when we find out what Kundra Tech and... What's his name? Castles, or not Castles, Warren Barney truly are in terms of their role. Well, maybe not truly are, but we'll, we'll at least get an idea of what they are. Especially to see what they can do in the AHL as like 80 and 81 overalls, you know. So, uh, not a great start to the season. 2-2-1, two, two and one. Uh, shootout loss in there. You got 3-1 loss, an 8-3 win, 6-2 <laughs> loss. We seem to have a little bit of everything in there right now. There's a trade. 5-2 loss. That is not good. Come on, boys. There you go. 3-2 win against Anaheim. F finish the month strong. Colorado and Buffalo. I want to see two wins here. There you go. 3-1 win and a 5-2 loss. Uh, all right. So, not the greatest start. Not the worst either, though. 4-4-1. Four, four, and one. Let's see what we're all about so far. Todd Mayer. That first line definitely needed Todd Mayer. And here's the reason. Now, our, most of our forwards can do a little bit of everything. But Aho and Homer are both more of shooters. Because if you take a look, obviously, at Homer, I mean, his shot's up there. His shot power's up there at 98, 97. Or Aho, basically the same thing. And then Mayer has 90s for his puck skills when Aho and Homer don't. So I feel like that's a really good combination. However, Jorg Ajo, off to a slow start so far this season, only three points, but good news is that Mayer and Homer are going nine and ten points each. Miller, 
Malkin, points, not too great at the moment. Pearson, Robertson, and Zanetti. Let's see how Zanetti doing. Zanetti's doing well. He's doing well. Seven points. Stahlberg, Hintz, and Furland. All right. And then defensively, yeah, Kuleshov, eight points. Jones, seven. So that nothing wrong there. Jamnov, one. Dehan, Staples, Vertanen. So Vertanen is an official top six defenseman now. That's good. And Staples is a depth defenseman now. That's unfortunate. Looks like he's taking a step back a little bit. Barney and Kundratek. Yeah, top six. Top four. Kundratek's a top four. Jeez. Yeah, he's... I mean, he's a borderline top four. But I would say these two have to come up to the NHL. There's no doubt. I mean, I don't know where to play them, though. That's the issue. Right? Because there's so many young defensemen. And then, and then you have Kuleshov and Jones who aren't going out anywhere anytime soon. The only one who you could even consider replacing is DeHaan, who's the veteran presence there. So I, I, I'm not sure what to do about them. And Homer and Mayer are doing fine. Zanetti's doing fine. I would like to get the second line going. So maybe we reunite the first line of Mayer or uh, of Miller, Aho, and Homer, and then Mayer point. And I hate to put Gino on the third line because he's <laughs> he's a first line forward right now, and he's got four goals. But that's when that third line was really clicking. So I'm gonna try Gino on the third line. We'll put. I guess Furland back on the second line because that again that was the chemistry that it had last year. We'll try it again. Robertson, I don't want to. Zanetti's not going on the fourth line, so it's got to be. I would say Robertson with Hints and Stahlberg. Yeah, we'll try that. Okay, I'm not gonna go too much further though because we do have to figure out what to do with those defensemen in the AHL because <laughs> I'm just not having them down there. That's that's too good the AHL both of them so we got to figure that out before we really do any more simulating to be honest so yeah I'm gonna call it here but before we end things off we are going to check out the stats over here so you got hits Aho, Hints, Miller, Robertson, Pearson all being physical that's good Homer, Jones, Furland as we expect and then takeaways, giveaways. I mean, Mayor, 16 to 3. My goodness. <laughs> Furland, Staples, Staples, 8 to 5. Wow, that's impressive. Robertson, 8 to 6. Zanetti, eight, 7 to 4. Miller could be better, 7 to 10. Malkin, 6 to 6. Pearson, 6 and 8. Homer, 6 and 7. Vertanen, 5 and 9. Uh, Point, 4 and 6. Dehan, 3 and 5. Hints, 3 and 2. Kuleshov 3 and 10, Jones 2 and 11, Zhamnov 2 and 7, Stahlberg 2 and 3, Aho with nothing. No takeaways for Jorg Aho. That's concerning. And then he fights Stahlberg, yep, 2. And then goaltenders, let's see, Demko, ooh, Demko 903, and Blackwood 867. So, just not too great all around right now i mean you got guys who are doing what they're supposed to do top mayor max homer alex kuleshov aaron zanetti seth jones as well but other than that not a whole lot of not a whole lot going on for us right now i'm not gonna make any trades obviously this was the team that did it last year and we're just off to a slow start i would say it's only a month in no reason to panic yet so, maybe consider putting Pearson on the fourth line. He's a third line checking forward, though. I mean, Hintz is a second liner, so you might be able to switch them up. I mean, maybe you keep Miller... Uh, yeah, maybe you keep Miller on the second line. And then keep Mayer on the first line. He has a first line forward at this point, given the amount of points that he has. But Ajo's got to get going, for sure. And there's a lot that needs to be tinkered with, I would say. Not completely blown up, but just, you know, see what works with this roster. So, I'll leave you guys off there. 
Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one when we continue the Year 7 simulation.